Hi family, I finally made it to my laptop. Laptop. How's everyone today? I pray by His grace that all is well, um, that you're putting one foot in front of the other, and you're trusting the Lord all the way along the way today. Amen. Um, whew, I've had a long day. I'm still at work, and... Um, you know what? Let's just pray because there's a lot of stuff going on. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your loving grace, for your mercy, for your strength, for bringing us through every single day of our lives, even the difficult days. We just thank you, Lord, for the joy that you give us on the inside that strengthens us, Lord, to deal with whatever is happening in our exterior circumstances. So, Father, we just want to say thank you today. We love you. We bless your name. Thank you for my YouTube family. Thank you for those who are joining us um, and becoming prayer warriors with me. As Even though we don't see each other, but at some point in the day, I know that there are some of you there who are just stopping and praying and remembering our YouTube channel, this venue here where we meet. And you are praying on behalf of our YouTube family and friends. Lord, continue to grow us and bless us and heal our land, Father. Thank you for every every person who participates, Abba Father, who lifts up your name and Lord, or who's learning to lift up your name or it might be someone who is a complete stranger. You are a stranger, stranger to them, but none of us are strangers to you. So we thank you, Lord. For your blessing and healing in all of our land. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading today is titled, um, oh goodness gracious, this light is horrible, but we'll just have to work with it. Our reading today is titled, God's Timing, Not Ours. Our scripture lesson is Proverbs 19, verse 21. It says, many plans are in the mind of man. But it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Amen. And that's Proverbs 19.21. That's an Old Testament book. And it is the English Standard Version. Amen. The two weeks following the 2010 devastating earthquake that shook the island of Haiti, my colleagues and I were packing medical supplies and basic personal care items that we were taking with us to the island. We were going to as volunteer nurses for two weeks. As we packed, we realized that we wouldn't be able to take all the boxes. There was one box that I wanted to take along, a big box of Pedialyte. As I struggled to tape the box, my sister kept telling me to leave it behind. With determination, I told them I would not. All the way to Haiti, I struggled with that box of Pedialyte. At one point, I wish I had left it, but by the grace of God, the box made it to Haiti. One day after working in the clinic for 12 long hours, we were ready for our tents and something to eat. As we entered the hospital compound, Lil, Lil suggested we go by the mother baby unit. As we entered the building, it was eerily quiet. You could hear a pin drop. No staff, doctors, or nurses were in attendance. As we walked around and looked at the babies, we realized they were motionless and were severely dehydrated. My colleagues excitedly said, Janet, the Pedialyte. We got the box of Pedialyte, found some syringes, and started feeding the babies. Doctors and nurses eventually took over the care of the babies, and they slowly recovered. As we left the building, no one spoke. We turned our hearts to God, thanking him for how he had led us that evening. God knew the Pedialyte would be needed. Would be needed. He would, would be needed and orchestrated us to take it with us and then directed us to the mother baby unit. My sisters, my brothers, God has a plan for our lives. For his divine will to be carried out, 
we must walk in his footsteps. Whatever challenges you face today, you are not alone. God is with you and will always be with you. This is her prayer. Jesus, my Savior, thank you for your love and your leading in our lives. Help us to be obedient, to always be obedient to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Keep our hearts pure. Make us worthy of your unconditional love. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Our reading today was written by Jeanette Maureen Myrie. Amen. And family, truly, that is how it is sometimes. God's timing is not our timing. Sometimes we say what we don't want to do or whatever. And in a case like this, she was just determined to get that Pedialyte to Haiti. And wound up being able to refresh and restore some little one's lives. And, you know, God is so good. He uses us um, as he chooses. And that's the honest truth. You never know the opportunity that he is going to afford you to be either a vessel that he can fill you with good stuff till it just runs over and you spill it out or an instrument and he has you doing work for him, different things. We can add that to our daily prayer for ourselves. Lord, make me an instrument of your love. I tell you. It is so good to see everyone or to be seen. Um, I've got a long day. I don't get off until 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm asking you all to keep me in your prayers. Um, I have over an hour to drive back to um, the area where I will leave the bus. So, um, and it'll be at night. So I'm going to take a nap on the bus shortly but I just had to come to see you all I didn't want um, another day to go by and I missed our back to back time but um, enjoy family and uh, are there if there are any um, prayer requests any comments I'm going to check in a little bit and um, I see that you all are writing and um I haven't checked the page, so I don't know if we had any um, any more visitors that came in and started talking about, about Bitcoin or anything else. But continue to pray for our channel. Um, I pray for each one of you. And uh, hello, everyone. I'm not going to call any names because some of you are becoming uh, familiar to me through commenting and sharing. So... Good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Have a blessed, blessed day. And by His grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. And um, give someone a helping hand today or place yourself in a position to receive from somebody else's helping hand. Um, that's what we are to one another. That's how we are to one another. Sometimes we can give assistance and sometimes we can receive assistance. Don't feel bad about receiving assistance because sometimes the Lord has sent a blessing for you through someone else. All of the times the blessing won't be in our pocket. The blessings may come from someone else's pocket. So don't be afraid or apprehensive when the Lord sends you a blessing. And um, especially if it's something that you have been concerned about and wondering how you're going to make it and this and that and the other. And all of a sudden someone just shows up and, you know, sometimes um, challenges in our lives cause us to feel unworthy about receiving um, something that's going to help us. But I'll tell you today, my friend, it is okay to, for the Lord to bless you with something that you need. So if you need the helping hand today, open your hand up to receive it. And if you are the helping hand today, release it from your hand to go out to someone else. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I know it's late. 
um, with me getting started, but um, I just had to come on to see you all, and I thank you for your patience, and by His grace, I will see you on tomorrow morning. I hope and pray that the reading and our time spent together is a blessing, and there have been some more songs ordered, added to our songs for devotional reading. Check them out or either email me and send me something um, and I can add yours to the playlist as well. Have a blessed evening, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. Remember that I love you and thank you for being a part of my YouTube uh, channel and having this experience together in the name of Jesus. Amen. And another thing, remember our young people, we haven't prayed specifically for them for a while, not out publicly. So I want us to renew that prayer for our young people out here in the world, uh, especially those under 25. Just keep them in your prayers and where you can help and encourage, um, do that as well. And if you are under 25 and you're someone who needs uh, that, then um, I pray that the Lord would lead in God and bring someone um, into your circle of influence to be a blessing to you. That noise you hear suddenly is the rain pouring down. Um, this is the third downpour that um, I that has happened since I've been here. So I'm going to sign off, get a little a couple of Z's so I can get back safely, and I will see you all on tomorrow. I love you. This is Miss Norma signing off. Amen, and have a good day, and just remember God's timing, not ours. Amen.